Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We're continuing our celebration of MGM's 90th anniversary with a movie based on a book so loaded with passion and sex it was considered unfilmable. Ultimately, MGM decided to take the chance and make the movie, and sure enough, it's loaded with passion and sex, but with enough discretion to survive the censors. From 1946, John Garfield and Lana Turner star in the film noir classic, The Postman Always Rings Twice. In 1934, James Cain's book was published and it was immediately controversial and popular. So it was quickly optioned by MGM, but no one knew quite what to do with it. It took more than 10 years to write a screenplay acceptable to the censors. But MGM finally satisfied the production code office, thanks in part to a changing post-war social climate. John Garfield plays a drifter who ends up at a combination gas station diner in the middle of nowhere. The owner offers him a job, which he turns down until he catches a glimpse of the owner's wife, played by Lana Turner. She gives him a look, and he starts on Monday. Postman completes an impressive film noir checklist. Passion, murder, betrayal, a femme fatale, even voiceover narration. What else could you ask for? It may be boilerplate film noir, perfectly executed, mind you, but you don't normally associate those characteristics with the gloss of MGM. Ultimately, the movie succeeds for many reasons. Principally, though, it's the chemistry between Garfield and Turner. Garfield gives a complex performance as a bad, good guy, or maybe he's a good, bad guy. We can't really tell. And Lana Turner demonstrates why she was Lana Turner, alluring, sexy, mysterious. From MGM in 1946, one of the studio's biggest hits of the year, The Postman Always Rings Twice.